The airport took a pounding for the second day running. The shells came in from Drew's batteries in both the Allé and Shouf foothills, and though they caused some panic at the international terminal, no casualties were reported. Six people died in the previous day's bombardment. A tentative ceasefire was agreed half an hour after the Muslim forces bent to Israeli pressure and released the three Lebanese cabinet ministers they'd taken hostage on Tuesday night. The trio were held in the mountains where they'd gone to try to call a halt to the faction fighting and sporadic shelling that continues to lay waste to their country. They were lucky men. Hostages in Lebanon don't often live to tell the tale. But the freeing of the prominent politicians served the interests of their kidnappers. But the ministers carried a set of demands. The Druze want changes in the Lebanese government. They're unlikely to make much headway in that direction. But their second plea, that the Lebanese army turn the barrels of their heavy artillery away from the mountains, might fall on more receptive ears. For if the fighting Druze of the Shouf Mountains are prepared to put down their arms in return, there's hope for an end to the violence.